Welcome back to the final score. We welcome in Bill Ingram, chairman of Joe Johnson's Arkansas Hawks and founder of the Real Deal in the Rock basketball tournament. We have lots of Razorbacks basketball to talk about and later a preview of this month's tourney. Razorbacks lost their regular season finale against Texas A&M 77-69. What does the loss mean for this team? Well, it's a, it's a tough loss. Uh, you wanted to end the regular season on a winning note plus that puts you in a position where you have to start playing in the SEC tournament on Wednesday. So that gives you an extra game to play. Uh, so you're looking at about, I think you're looking at playing maybe four or five games on a row, five, five straight days, and that's very difficult to do. Uh, but it's, look, it's happened before, and if anybody can do it, I think this team is resilient enough to do it. And the one thing about the SEC, and it's so wide open this year, that I think, I think any team, with the exception of maybe Vanderbilt, can win SEC tournament if they get hot. So that's the good thing about it. You mentioned getting hot. It looked like the Razorbacks were getting hot. They won two straight, but lost that last regular season game. What's the resilience you see in the team that could make it possible? Well, they just need to bounce back, uh, you know, and, and, and play like they played in the in the prior two games to this last game. Texas A&M has been playing really well, too. Uh, they, they beat Auburn earlier in the week at their place, so they've been playing really well at their place, but our, but that's a team that Arkansas is capable of beating, and that, and that was a game that we was capable of winning. And, it, and even though we didn't win the game, the thing is that right now, when you start a tournament, then everybody is zero and zero, so everything starts over. We could go on and on about the negatives of this team since they started dropping SEC games, but overall, looking back at the season to this point, what are the positives you've seen in Eric Musselman's first year as head coach? Well, I think his guys, really, you know, bought in to, to what he was uh, trying to preach and, and teach them to do. I think the team uh, was playing at a at a, at a at a high level at times. I think they hit a low when, when Isaiah went down those four or five games. They kind of hurt him because I do believe in that four, in that five game stretch, I think they would have won three of those games if they would have had him and that probably would have put them in a position where they was they, they would be in the tournament. So, I, I you know, I think he set the tone for next year and what things what, what, you know with the way things should be and this year's not over yet you know a lot it's a lot of basketball left so uh i don't like to mention the nit because i just don't <laughs> i don't get excited about watching the nit but uh we still have a chance of going to the ncaa our chances are good as i think as good as anybody in the conference and if we can put together you know a, a string of wins and maybe get to the conference finals or win it then you never know what happens yeah, we can't wait to see what happens in this tournament. Looking, looking to the future for a second, what are the pieces of the puzzle that is going to prove crucial for Eric Musselman to have success down the line? Well, he, the guys that he got committed, he needs to get them signed. Uh, they, they, they can't sign, I think, until April. And, that, and, and every year in college basketball, we see some kid committed to a school, and then all of a sudden in April they sign with somebody else. So that you need to, you need to shore that up. Maybe... And, and, and then if you get Mason and Isaiah back next year, and we, and we no one knows what's, what, what the future holds for those guys, but if you get those guys back next year with the guys you got coming in, then you have a, it looks like you have a chance of being a really special team and, and making a, a deep run in the NCAA tournament. Now to high school basketball. This past weekend was the 6A state semifinals, and one player is now out who is a future Razorback, Jalen Williams from Fort Smith Northside. Northside lost to Little Rock Central on Saturday, and he had lots of emotion after the game. He played well, but it wasn't enough. What do you see in Jalen now that he's officially going to be a future hog? No more high school basketball. Well, I think he just needs to work on his conditioning, making sure that uh, he's in the best condition he can be in when he get to Fayetteville, because I, I think that he's going to be one of the guys that they're going to count on playing next year. But first First of all, they need to get him signed, make sure he signs, uh, because he still hasn't signed yet. So, and I'm, like I said, always skeptical about that until it happens. Then it's not over until they put their name on the dotted line. But I think he's, he'll, be a, he'll be a contributor immediately next year and, and it'll be a great asset to the team. We mentioned the 6A state semis. Well, we had two big surprises in Conway and Little Rock Central. What did you see in those wins? Well, nobody expected Conway Central to get to the finals. Uh, and is, and that, prove, that, that proves how tough that 6A Central uh, conference. That's a very tough conference. Uh, a lot of good teams. And two teams, Conway and Central, to reach the finals was pretty incredible. I don't think Central has been to a final, I think, and it's been a long time, maybe 20 years or so. So and they, they have a huge alumni. They have a huge father, so I'm sure they will show up big in Conway, big in, in, in Hot Springs. And the good part about it, I can't tell you which one of these teams will win that tournament because I didn't expect either one of them to be in the finals. Conway, from the, from the eye test, looks look like the better team, but everybody Central play Central has played in the tournament. 
look like they were better. The Central, you know, figured out a way to win these games. So I think it's a toss-up, and, and and anybody can win it. Yeah, Caleb London for Conway is going to be a big piece of that puzzle on game day. And, of course, Central beating North Little Rock. What a surprise there. But those guys meet up next Saturday in Hot Springs. But first, let's get to 5A, 4A. What do you see in those tournaments? Well, 5A tournament is probably the one of the best, the, I think was the best three tournament. I got a chance to go over to Russellville and watch a couple of those games. It was a great tournament, great atmosphere. The people in Russellville did an excellent job putting on that tournament. And the two teams are playing were two, were two of the teams that was picked to be the favorite, West Memphis and Jacksonville. Chris Moore signed with Auburn going against uh, Devontae Davis and signed with the University of Arkansas. That'll be a great matchup. It'll be, that also will be a huge crowd. West Memphis known when they come to the finals, they bring the entire, the entire city. So that'll be a great game as well with two great players. And, uh, you know, we, you just couldn't get a better final than West Memphis and Jacksonville. Yes, sir. And, Bill, we can't have you here without talking about the real deal in the Rock Basketball Tournament here at the end of the month. For people who don't know what it is and didn't tune in last week, uh, what do you have to say about the tournament? What do you have to look forward well, to? Well, it's, it's coming soon. Uh, we'll be here, be here March the 27th uh, through the 29th. It's a week early. Uh, we have arguably, we, we, we'll have arguably the best teams and players in the country. The next NBA stars will be here. Uh, get a, you can get a chance to get out and see it. Uh, if you, in the past, if you missed, Zion, when he was here two years ago, we have another kid coming in here with similar stature, Mikey Williams. And if you want to get a chance to see one, uh, the next generational talent, he'll be here. You need to get uh, look on our go on our website, realdealintherock.com, and we'll be posting more information about game times and things of that nature. So it'll be a great event, and we're looking forward to it. Can't wait to see it. Thanks so much for being here, Bill. No problem. Next up on the final score, we'll show you what's next after the show. We'll be back in a couple minutes. Stay locked in here.